Hello everyone, happy Wellbeing Wednesday. Welcome to Children's Mini Mindfulness. This evening, this week, um, well, I'll give you a minute actually, just to make sure you're all here. <laughs> um, I hope you've all had a lovely sunny day. It's been really, really bright. It looks like summer from out of the windows, but when we went outside, it was still freezing, freezing cold. So hopefully you're all nice and thawed out. Okay. So this evening, I wanted to give you all a little bit of a break from the screens. Now I know you're looking at me on a screen, but I thought it'd be quite nice if we read a story. I wanted to share with you one of my favourite children's stories that I um, sometimes still do um, read to my children. You might have heard of it, I'm not sure. This is Awesome Man by Michael Chabot. The Astonishing Secret of Awesome Man. So I'm going to read this to you now and hopefully you enjoy it and then we'll chat just a little bit about it after. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the pictures on this little screen, but I will try to show you them. Okay, so the astonishing secret of awesome man. Okay. Hi, I'm a superhero. My name is awesome man. I have a cape as red as a rocket, a mask as black as midnight, and a styling letter A on my chest. I'm just basically awesome. I can fly as high as a rocket and as straight as an arrow. All through the time barrier and not get dizzy or feel sick or smash into things, except on purpose. When you're a superhero like me, Sometimes you have to smash into things. I can shoot positronic rays out of my eyeballs. And can I tell you something? Giant killer robots just hate that stuff. You know what else is totally awesome? My trademark awesome power grip. I can hug a runaway freight train. I can hug jelly. I can hug mutant talking jelly from beyond the stars. But maybe the most awesome thing about me is my secret identity. Now, this is a total secret, all right? So listen closely, because I'm going to whisper it really quietly. So quietly that only you and Moscovich, the awesome dog, will be able to hear me. In real life, I'm... Uh-oh. Here comes Professor Von Evil in his antimatter slime bot. Antimatter slime is extra gross. But okay, check this out. I change into my secret identity and the dude just sclooshes right past me. Do you see me? Professor Von Evil doesn't. Then I just sneak up behind him slap a big old power grip on his pointy head and scur runch. It's time the professor learned his lesson. Here's what can you see? But don't think it's non-stop fun and photons being awesome, man. Sometimes it can be pretty hard. What on earth? Oh man, it's the flaming eyeball, my arch nemesis. I'm going to tell my mother I mean, I'm going to use my beams to make a positronic force shield. Shoot, the eyeball got away. That makes me angry and you do not want to be there when awesome man gets angry. It is not a pretty sight. See, the thing is, I'm super strong. I have to be careful. I can't start hitting stuff or kicking stuff or throwing stuff around even though that's what I want to do so badly. I might hurt somebody or destroy a city or something. So I fly back to the Fortress of Awesome, deep at the bottom of the deepest, darkest trench under the Arctic Ocean. It's peaceful here, quiet and calm. 
I can just lie on the bed and chill for a while. I need to get a grip. So that's what I do. I get myself in a ginormous, awesome power grip. It calms me right down so I can think again. And that's when I realise what my problem is. I'm almost out of positrons. All this evil fighting can make a superhero tired. Really tired. Pooped. I love saying pooped. The thing is, it takes a lot of energy to be awesome, man. To be exact, it takes 7 billion kilojoules per nanosecond. But sometimes I get so busy being awesome all the time that I forget. So I call for Moscovitch on our secret frequency and she brings me a thermo-vulcanised protein delivery orb straight from the kitchen of the fortress and a little packet of salt. After I'm all calmed down and positronic again, I take off after the flaming eyeball. I fly west, I fly east, I fly eight times around the earth and all the way to that sun. The flaming eyeball hangs out here sometimes. Then I see him. He goes into the hidden entrance of the secret headquarters of the worldwide wickedness. I hide out there and spy on him. He's chilling with Sister Sinister and the Red Shark. I throw an awesome power grip on all three of them. Give them a little blast of eye beams. Kick a little bad guy behind. Let's see. Then I make a quick getaway back to the fortress of awesome. When I get there, my secret identity mum is waiting for me with a plate of plain old cheddar cheese and crackers and chocolate milk. I'm so happy to see her. I throw a power grip around her too. She says, that feels awesome. So, I hope you liked that. Um, and I think that's such a fantastic story because Awesome Man is obviously a superhero. He's awesome, just like you are, just like I am most of the time. But he needs to realise, he does realise, he knows that he needs to keep calm. He can't go throwing stuff around or hitting things because he could do some damage and he could hurt people. And that's not what he wants because he's a good guy, just like you are. So he knows he needs to keep his positrons up by keeping fed, keeping calm, lots of hugs because did you guess that is exactly what a power grip is. It's a hug. So whenever you're feeling that your positrons are a bit low, that maybe you're getting um, a bit out of control or maybe you're just feeling a little bit zapped, a little bit low on energy, you can give yourself a massive power grip. You can give yourself a hug and boost yourself. Or you can have a nap or you can have something to eat. And another good thing to keep in mind is that although we're not supposed to hug everybody at the moment, so there might be some people that you're missing out on hugging, but you can hug the people that live with you. So if you want to give your mummy, daddy, granny, auntie, if they live with you, your brother, your sister, your dog, your teddy, whoever, that can still feel pretty awesome. And not only for you, but it will also make the person that you're hugging feel awesome. So, keep that in mind. Keep those power grips coming. Keep telling yourself that you are awesome. And when you're giving the other people in your life those power grips, tell them that they are awesome too. Just focus then on how that makes you feel because that will boost up your positrons as well. When you tell somebody else that they're feeling awesome and you make them feel awesome, then that makes you feel even more awesome too. So how awesome is that? Okay. Tiny little tip, just to give you an extra boost of superpowers. If you rub your hands together really, 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 really quickly, make them really warm. 
really warm. Can you hear that? You can close your eyes and listen to the sound, actually. That sounds quite nice. And when they're really nice and warm, you can pop your hands on your eyes. And that's another way to give yourself a little boost as well. It can help to keep you calm and it can help to recharge you and boost those positrons. You can also rub your hands together again, get some more heat, some more warmth. And supercharge those power grips. Make your hands nice and warm and then wrap them around you and give yourself a nice big hug. Now, if the people that are around you, not everybody loves hugs, not everybody loves power grips. So what we can do as well, what can also feel awesome, is you can give a hand hug, you can gently squeeze each other's hands. So if you've got somebody sat with you now, just try that. Just if you don't want to hug them, that's fine. Just give them a little squeeze on the hand and I bet you that still makes them smile. Now, also, we did mention that there probably are people who you're not able to hug at the moment. Maybe they live a little way away or maybe they're in a different family and you're not, you, we can't go visit them at the moment because we have to stay where we are, stay, stay close to home. But what you can also do is you can close your eyes and you can think of them and you can send them a virtual power grip. So we're going to try that now. So close your eyes really, really tight. And in your mind, let's practice on ourselves first. So scrunch up your eyes really tight. And in your head, get a picture of yourself doing whatever it is you want. You could be reading a book like we've just done. You could be lying in your den, in your fortress of awesome. You could be eating your tea. Have you got yourself? Can you see yourself? And I want you to wish some love to yourself. So you can say it out loud if you want. You can say, I am sending myself some love and some kindness and some warmth. Or you can just say it in your head. And now, keep your eyes scrunched up tight and think of somebody, think of that person who you want to hug. Maybe let's try somebody in your family first of all. Squeeze your eyes up tight. Get them in, in your head, in your mind's eye. Can you picture them? And now we're going to send that hug and that love to them. Nice big smile on your face. That's the secret that makes it work. Big deep breath and in your head, send that person love and kindness and warmth. Nice big deep breath. Keep your eyes scrunched up tight. I'm going to try it for two more people. So now we're going to find somebody in our mind who goes to school with us or nursery or wherever you go. Find that person. It might be your best friend. If you're feeling super awesome and your positrons are really, really charged, maybe you could send it to more than one person at once. So scrunch your eyes up tight. Find those people, get them pictured in your mind's eye. Take a nice big deep breath. Get your smile on your face. And send those people love and kindness and warmth. And you can do that as many times as you want to as many people as you want, whenever you want. And another way, just to seal it in, just to make sure that that power grip did its job, is when you're speaking to that person that you sent that virtual power grip to, you can tell them. Say, you might not want to tell them that you sent a power grip because that might be a bit of a secret that you don't want to spill. Maybe you don't want to be telling awesome man's secrets. Maybe you want to let your best friends in on the secret. That's fine too. So you can tell that person when you speak to them, I thought of you and it made me smile or I thought of you and I sent you a smile. And I bet 
that your granny or your auntie or your best friend or your teacher, all those people who are missing you and who you're missing, that will make them smile, that will make them feel warm inside. It will make you smile and it will make you feel warm inside, which is just like a massive, great big power grip. So try it and think about how awesome that makes you feel and how awesome that makes them feel and how awesome you are. Don't ever forget to keep telling yourself you are awesome.